Wake Up Honey, etc., etc., is a new deck building roguelite, okay? Now, originally, people were saying you gotta play Wild Frost. Then I checked it out on Steam today. 57% positive reviews. That gives me, that gives me pause. 57% positive reviews for a movie? You're like, this might be okay. 57% positive reviews for a game? You're like, I mean, in a world where like a 7 out of 10 is considered like a, a, a shot to the damn gut. 57 is kind of crazy. Then I looked at the Steam reviews and people were like, this game is too hard. And I said, you know what? For all the, of all the reasons that a game could get a negative review, being too hard is the best reason for me to play it in spite of the reviews. It, maybe it will be too hard, that's fine. But at least it's not like, hey, this game's boring. At least it's not like, hey, this game like hurts my eyes and made me throw up. It's just, you know, the, the balancing might be a little touchy. Okay, I don't know where I'm going to put myself on the screen here regardless. But choose your leader. Barrage. Hits all targets in a row. You just got good stats. Gain two acorns on kill. Um, you know what? Let me, let me play as Ruslan. And then we got this little potion thing right here as well. I don't know what that is. Oh, I could change the name. That's an ink bottle. That's fine. You, you know what? I'm not going to change your name. It's a little problematic. Your name is your name. This journal belongs to Ruslan. Battle me. To start each battle, drag your leader from your hand to the battlefield. I'm going to put you up at the front. Why not? Foxy is one of your companion cards. Get him on the battlefield too. Okay. Get behind me, lad. Use your scrappy sword to take out that pengoon. Scrappy sword. Two damage. Sounds good to me. Two damage, you're dead. Card counters reduced by one each turn. When they reach zero, the card will attack. Okay, so next card I play, you're gonna attack me one damage times three. But you're also gonna attack one damage times three. Okay, okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna apply two snowball to you to freeze your card counter for two turns. Thus allowing my fox to do some extra damage to you. Now you have five life. Enemies always attack first. Okay, but the, not now because he's got a snowball on him. Then I'm going to hit you with a scrappy sword. Then you're going to... Then I'm going to hit you with a scrappy sword. It's not going to kill you. You're going to hit me for three. And then I'm going to kill you. I don't know why I killed you. <laughs> I, I had retribution perhaps. You are almost out of cards. Gain a new card by hitting the redraw bell. Discard your hand and draw six new cards. This action will not end your turn. Oh, you just have three attack when your card counter comes down to zero. I understand. I, yeah, 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 I understand. Shell blocks damage, okay? We got a snow stick. We got some dinkberry juice. Redraw bell. You can use the redraw bell at any time to draw your... Discard your hand and draw six new cards. It will... End your turn unless the bell is charged. It will become charged when its counter reaches zero. I understand. We play four cards, we get a new redraw. You must protect your leader. If they die, it's game over. All right. I understand. When hit, you gain one attack. You apply two snowball on attack. We're starting to figure it out, okay? I would like you to... You're attacking for three, three times? No, you're attacking for one, three times, because that's your attack. I would like to put a little freeze on you. You should count down by one. You're also counting down by one. Then I'm going to put another freeze on you. Slow you down a little bit. Then I'm going to hit you for two and Foxy should kill you because his counter is going to decay next. Beautiful. Now you're not charged. That's fine. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna kill you. I'm just gonna end your life. No target to attack. The Snow Knight. Whenever anything is snowed, gain plus one attack. Okay, it's a little spooky, it's a little scary. Because you are charged, well damaged, you're increased by, okay, I understand. I'm gonna use my charged redraw bell. 
Whenever anything is snowed, gain plus one attack. There's definitely some spookiness involved there. That, that throws my plan into disarray. I'm going to... We need to kill Grouchy, brother. First, we need to kill Grouchy. I'm going to attack you. Everything's decaying. I'm not going to make you stronger yet. I'm going to attack you. You're going to attack me. You're going to attack this guy. I appreciate that. Then I'm going to kill Grouchy. Grouchy, you got to go. You had all summer to figure out what you what to do. Then I'm going to I'm going to bet on myself here. I'm going to snow stick you to freeze your counter. I'm going to snow stick you again to freeze your counter. We get to attack for 3 and you've been killed. So one of the reviews I saw of this, I'm I'm losing my mind, said after 10 attempts and failing to kill the to, to defeat the first combat, I decided the balancing was off. Really? Have you tried following the text that they give you in the game and, and making appropriate decisions accordingly? Take me to the journal page. The Wild Frost. If anyone is reading this, that's me. Use the knowledge within these pages to go forth and bring the sun back to our world. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Maybe I march to the beat of a different drum. Frozen Travelers. Break the ice. I love tactile. I love tactile things. You can right-click any card to inspect it. Inspecting cards will provide information. You're a companion. You've got a haha -ha grown hammer. Health 9. Counter 4 of 4. Okay, so you attack every 4 cards. When you attack, you do extra damage to snow targets. You've got health of 10, attack of 5, counter 4 of 4. On kill, restore 2 health to self and allies in the row. I kind of like that, honestly. And 5 attack, too. I kind of, even though it's, even though it, it doesn't play with our, our uh, snow synergy, I kind of like, I mean, healing's always good. Ooh, open it up. Pick a new item. Apply 3 shrooms, deals damage every turn. Count down a card counter by 2. Apply 12 Frozen and consume. I mean, 12 Frozen seems fucking nuts, dude. And it, it's usable in every battle. It's just only usable once. It removes itself from your deck. As we know from all our Slay the Spire, this is a good thing. <clears throat> okay, I need to place myself. We got Chungun. When hit, gain one. We got Uba Bear. When hit, apply two snow to the attacker. I'm content with this. Drop me in. You can also inspect cards during battles. Chungun. I gotcha. I understand. Place Big Barry on the battlefield. My two cents. We don't really care if Ruslan um, is slowed. Because we're not relying on that three damage right now. Instead, we're relying on Ruslan. To, I mean, we just play damage cards. And Big Barry. I'm just, you know what, for now? What, can you attack me? I don't know. I'm, I feel like I should just put you here because your healing synergy works here. Okay, straight up. I mean, I need to redraw, brother. This is, this is not good. I'm about to get, well, maybe it doesn't matter if I get hit. I'll hit you. Drag Big Barry in front of your leader to protect them from the attack. Well, there you go. Moving your cards does not take a turn, so you can still play a card. Okay, well, I'll, I'll hit you with one of these then. They can attack diagonally. Now Big Barry gets to go. After our next card, Big Barry gets to go. I would like to attack Chungun, even though he does get stronger. Big Barry smacks you, gives us a heal. You can recall your companions to heal them. Drag Big Barry to your discard pocket. But he's, he's crushing it, dude. He's killing it. What is my discard pocket? You're my discard pocket? This looks like a pocket to me. This looks like a pocket to me. Can't read? Drag oh, Big Barry, Big Barry. <laughs> You're right, it's too hard, it's too hard. I forgot how to read. Recalling cards is also a free action. Understood. Give me a scrappy sword, and am I not just gonna kill you on the diagonal? Or because, you know, I, I gotcha, you're owned. I got two armor. Give me a redraw, please. 
Holy cow, we got Foxy. When hit, apply two to the attacker. I can just smoke you, so I'm not sweating you. Let me play a um, let me play a Foxy down right here. Penguin is about to do an attack though. Be I'd be very afraid of that. Step one, kill this Penguin, get some armor. Maybe we kill this Penguin. Because you're probably, is maybe there's priority to attacking units in your row. So I kill you so you don't take damage because we have armor as is. Plus we'll get the extra armor on kill. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. We're learning still. Next step, freeze the Uba Bear so Foxy gets to attack next. Although he, do, he did get snowed up after that. Then we gotta ice you. You gotta die. Then straight up, I'm like, take a snow cake. Although maybe we should save that for an inevitable boss. Big Peng! Gain one when an ally is killed. That would seem to me like we should try to rush you down. Um, I would like to redraw, please. Actually, you know what? One card. Yeah, I'd like to redraw, please. I was, I was gonna say, I need Big Barry out there. You have one life left. Big Barry? I think you're probably gonna need to heal Foxy. And why, don't, why don't you tank some shots up here? I'm willing... To, what, oh, excuse me, I've been snowed. I've been snowed. It's frozen my counter. Why have I been snowed? You were snowed. I know. Where did the snow come from? Because you attacked the bear? Oh. So I did. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I attacked the uber bear. You got me. I don't think we should kill the allies, man. I think we got to go straight after uh, Big Peng. So I'm going to give him a little smack. You're going to attack me. That's all right. That's why we have HP. You're going to go next. You're going to kill a bear, which is not great, but then you're going to do some extra... Or maybe you're going to get snowed after that and it'll be interrupted. You know what? If I kill you, you will not snow you, so your frenzy will actually work. Ah! So I scrap you. I get some armor. Yeah, he gets a little buff, but now Foxy goes nutty. Look at that. He doesn't get snowed up. You're going next on kill, restore, and you're going to get a kill. Okay. So we snow stick you so you don't get to attack. We take a little hit. Life goes on. We kill the boss with Big Barry. Everybody else retreats. I mean, listen, Chucklefish. If you were, you were looking at some of these team reviews, you were like, dumb the game down a little bit. The audience can't handle it. I, I'm, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I've just picked an amazing leader right off of the bat, but I uh, feel like I, I, I'm kind of crushing it right now. Maybe I'm still in the tutorial, though. It is possible. It does get harder later. We'll see. We'll see. Woodhead is a clunker card. I already knew that. Clunkers are items you can place to aid your companions. Does nothing, but it will take a hit for you. Increase your sword by one. Apply four armor. I would like to increase my sword by one and place that onto Foxy because he has frenzy. Bling Snail Cave or Frozen Travelers? Take me to the Bling Snail Cave. We have received 58 extra bling. When an ally is healed, apply Rotten Tomatoes. Temporarily increases attack. Apply three tomatoes. It's the spiciest pepper I could think of. Temporarily increases your attack. Berry Blade. Restore to front ally equal to their damage dealt. I understand. I mean, Berry Blade, Big Berry just seems like a, 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 a great setup. 
But also, Heartforge kind of seems interesting because we got Big Barry healing everybody. He heals everybody for two, and then he applies an equal amount of tomatoes, and then that goes on to uh, Foxy, who gets the uh, the frenzy, and now he's doing he's going sicko mode with the damage. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna go spicy, regular boss. Uh oh, bamboozle. 18 HP. Three attack. Hits all enemies. And can only have one snowball at any given time. Start me here. You gotta go first. Because every... You have eight attack, and every time you get hit, you reduce it by one. We need a... Um, we need a foxy out here. A, hopefully attacking a, a, a winter worm. Start me with a foxy. Or we could just rush the boss, but let's see. Now I see the play equal. You only do one damage. I'm not that interested in snowing you, honestly. You, I want to get the synergy going here. I'd like to redraw. An allies heal the I, I, I want to play cards and then redraw. I guess I could just kill you. And then I wouldn't even take one damage. But this also takes one damage off the field. And, and more Kaiser permanently. Let's, let's try this strategy out. We, you know, HP is a resource. You're about to go next. Give me another scrappy sword. Hits all enemies for three. You're gonna live. You're gonna live. I could snow cake you. I think first, let me just, I'm gonna snow stick you. I just wanna keep you out of my face. I don't care if you hit me for one, life goes on. You are gonna go next, but let's redraw. I was hoping for some Big Barry. Okay, Big Barry moves up to the front and tanks the hit. You attack everybody, then we attack. Now, if we could get him to get a kill. On kill, restore two health to self and all allies in a row. You're going next. You're also going to attack. I would like you to increase... I guess he doesn't really tank the hit, that's true. <laughs> I'd like to increase your health by one, or your attack by one. I think he's toasted, man. Aimless. Hits a random target. I would prefer if Foxy did not die, because I think they, they die forever. And then you go next. So snow this guy. This should be fine. Snow you. You don't get to go. Big Barry takes a hit, but then he also gives a hit. And then I scrappy sword you, and everybody else just runs away. Oh, crap. <laughs> they did not run away. Ryan, can the devs give away, give you codes to give away? Yes. You can maybe if you if you whisper codes to moderator Jess Yabeb, they can give them away for sure. And thank you. I'm realizing I'm going to lose though. <laughs> <clears throat> I thought I was so smart, but now it's all going to fall apart. Nobody's at risk of dying right now. We're also not going to get a kill, though. Let, let me get a redraw. I got to remember I can bring them back to heal them as well. Certainly feels like Big Barry needs to live. But then you're going to get hit and die. You do two. You do one. You do four. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> I think... Hang on here. Start me off with a pink berry juice on Big Berry just so he lives. He died by one. <laughs> Um, 
Scrappy sword me. Give me some armor. Oh, that's not armor. Oh, it doesn't even kill you. You have four HP. I what was I thinking? It's actually all gonna fall apart. I, I can't stop you. I I can't bring my leader back. I could I could heal you, but then I'm but that oh but then you're not out there anymore to tank a hit for me. Um Well, if I snow you, I can live for one more card. You're both of you are gonna attack. Which means I'm I'm torched. But this is probably like a guaranteed death anyway, so I'm not sweating it. Dead. Town progress. We did apply enough snow. Take me back to the town. There's a meta progression, right? Pet house construction complete. New pets to start each journey with can be unlocked in the pet house. Inventor's hut. Pardon me. Welcome to Snowdell. You can construct new buildings in the town by completing challenges. Kill 100 enemies. We're not quite there yet. We've unlocked the Snow Dwellers. This is uh, Pino. This is how we go back into the, another mission. Hi, Zoe, experienced pet trainer here. I'll be training up little buddies to accompany you in your journey. Snoof. Every time he attacks, he applies one cold. Okay. Daily voyage is... Oh, daily challenge! We're not going to do that as our second run, but, but duly noted, duly noted. Okay, launch me into another one. Pino. Attacks for four times two. No, attacks for three times two. Applies snow and aimless. Long shot. Always hits the furthest target. Apply two demonized. Doubles the damage taken. Counts down after taking damage. Let me think. Let me think about this one. Doubles damage taken. I mean, Ray Wolf just looks the coolest. Get, let me get some Ray Wolf here. Let's go. Demon eyes, demon eyes, demon eyes. Jaden Smith. You ever think about that? Grouchy. Well damaged. Your attacks increase by two. Gnome does nothing. Wolf, sorry, Snulf applies two snow, but does one damage. You gotta die first. And we start with Snoof, who applies one snow. It would be nice, let me think about this. I'm realizing you could snow your own units to adjust the timer so we could apply the double damage and then your double damage would get a kill. I don't think that's actually necessary now that I look at it. I think we can just go two swords. Which means you die. You get to attack. You snow, which means we attack next. We really don't have to... Do no matter what we play, we're okay. I'm gonna put... I'm gonna give you more attack. Because I'm going to kill you anyway, because my counter hits zero. And then we just have this gnome here that's just chilling. I guess I would kill him with a scrappy sword. If he escapes from the battle... No, he just escapes from the battle, but he drops four gold every time he's hit. Well... Let's... This does one damage, too. When do you escape from the battle? That's the question I got here. Maybe we shouldn't be greedy. Four, oh, four count when his counter hits zero, of course. I'm gonna snow you just because it also reduces your attack and makes you less dangerous. You also get snowed by our own attack. And you'll be killed if we can get three more cards out here, two more cards out here. I'm just going to snow you again. And I think I'm going to snow you again. We're fully blinged up. You're about to apply more snow. I understand. First, I'm going to scrappy sword you. You're going to attack and apply even more snow. I'm going to count down my own timer. And you get killed. 
baby snow bro whenever anything is snowed game one okay i understand i understand i get the picture let's redraw i think we start with a sword now you i don't know if i can keep you in permanent snow but we're gonna try the, the scary thing is you're getting so much more attack off of it. But I think we can get you there regardless. In fact, I already, I already know we can get you there regardless. Look at this. Okay, that was a perfect battle. Nothing to concern ourselves with. We got treasure. Hits all undamaged enemies for five. This seems kind of insane. When active, all allies retain chili. Apply two sh poison. Hits damages, deals damage every turn. Here's my uh, confusion right now. What is a turn? Is a turn every time we play a card? Or is it every time the heroes counter? Every, every time you have a card? Holy cow. Let's try poison. Hits all units in a row, too. Let's try some poison. When, an, when a poisoned enemy dies, apply their poison to a random enemy. I mean, listen. <laughs> when you take one card that has an effect, you then take all other cards that have that effect. I know the secret. Whenever anything is snowed, gain equal attack. Ooh, hello, Yuki. Every single person is my enemy. Apply one reducing attack. Trigger when an ally in the row attacks. So you're just gonna do You're gonna do two extra attack. I understand. I get the picture. It'd be nice if you died early. All right, let's take a look. You just take one hit for us. I think we got kind of a bad draw. Barrage hits everything in a row. I think I'm going to apply a Sunrod to myself. We're about to do four damage. We could just do this the... No, we can't do it the easy way. We could snow stick you for one, slow you down. We hit you, you're about to take double damage. Does it also double the damage taken from the sword? See, that's my question. Because if it doubles the damage taken from the sword, then you're dead. Yes, okay. Then let's do that. Which also makes their mimic, like, useless. Assuming I understand what rows and columns are. Then we'll slow you down by one. I don't think there's much point in using a, uh, a tank because you have barrage. So it's gonna hit everything in a row anyway. Never anything is snowed. King equals spore pack, apply two and barrage. Okay, that's not, not too relevant. You only have one life. I gotta be very careful about that. I would much rather you just take a hit for one. Because if you die, you're like out of my deck, right? I think I'm gonna be like the ultimate coward. I think I'm gonna scrappy sword you. Oh, there's so many more enemies, right? I forgot. <laughs> um, we do four damage. I forgot that it's not just like once we kill these, they're gone. You're not that relevant to me. You're not that relevant to me. Do me a favor. Poison this row. Then you hit me. 
like I care. I missed the part where that's my problem. Then play a fun go. I mean, we should really play like a unit first, probably. You're going to hit, though, and then you're going to hit again. Whenever a blanked enemy dies, apply their blank to a random enemy. Okay, let's let's get that out there. Oh, you're you're also you take a hit for me. Ah! Oh! You die. You applied your poison to another enemy. Thank you so much for your help. And you're also going to take a hit, which means you're not going to die. And you only have one life anyway, so as soon as I play this card, the Mimic's gonna die. Then you're also gonna die, but who cares? Let me get a Scrappy Sword out there on you just to get some gold. No, you Oh, it happens at the end of the turn. Okay, duly noted. You're about to escape? I should have really put another, like, pet out there early, but I got, I got stunlocked. You have three? We got a little snow in hand. Let's, let's kill you first. Get some more gold. It's, it's greedy. But then get a, a snoof out here. I forgot about the boss. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> You're gonna attack next turn. I'd prefer you didn't. Slow me. So you take a turn off. Do me a favor. When hit, apply two frost to a random enemy. Do me a favor, take some poison and call me in the morning. You're gonna die at the end of the next turn. You gotta get Yuki out? Yeah, she dies in one hit though. It's, uh, it's spooky. You're gonna attack next for one. Feel like you do five damage. You do one damage. I'm just gonna have you take a hit right now. A little more poison comes out. I have to snow stick you. I, I guess I can move you in front so you could survive this hit. And then snow stick you, just slow you down for a second. <laughs> oh, Zipper, 